design. Very nice, interesting color combination. Uh, there's a lot of people uh, at this one, so we're trying to find some areas to check out that uh, where there's not a lot of stuff going on. There's a fountain, pond. Don't think there's too many fish in there. <laughs> Welcome to our beautiful Welcome. listing on Las Flores Mesa with views of Whitewater Ocean views I would, and I would say it's, forever. it's views to die for, but you don't want to put it that no, way. No, we don't it's want to. It's views to live for. Exactly. We are in Malibu. Views to live for and sun, sunrises that are going to make your day. Quite spectacular. Yes. You know, there's not too many. Uh, tutors are not necessarily my thing, but this is gorgeous. We're calling it so, country French, you. hence the French brunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, because there's, it's got there's French food back windows. There. Uh, these are, That's you know, bad. 40 foot ceilings probably. Uh huh. I mean, I haven't measured them, but th this the light is amazing. It's extraordinary. Let's uh, go eat. Beautiful place. 20990 Las Flores Mesa. Okay. Drive. And what's the price of this house? Three million eight ninety five. Oh, chump change. Yeah. I'll take it. 1.71 acres and lots of privacy. All right, Close good. to yeah. town. You can be in Santa Monica in 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. It's like a little artist loft. Look at this. This is one of those, you know, where in the in the movies where you'd see something really creepy, but it doesn't look creepy. It looks really cool. Probably this, it's where the super attractive artist would be living. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the nutcase. With his models. <laughs> Well, that was fabulous. And the ladies were equally fabulous. Thank you guys for showing us around. Very cool. And the grapes, I like the grapes. The grapes were delicious. Uh, but before we go to house number three, yes. Paul, I would like for you to sing that song, at least part of it, one more time, just for Kathy's sake. Ready? I'd be glad to do that. Hmm. Go. Soapy soap she cleaned in an ocean full of joy. Bibbidi bubbidi scribbity scrubbity. <laughs> Now, yeah, you know the words better than I did. So let's try it. You do this. We couldn't, we couldn't really show that house. That's okay. That kind of happens sometimes. This house right there. Inadequate that, parking. That's a Tesla. Inadequate planning on my part, <laughs> not yours. The parking, you did a fabulous job. Fabulous. This is the brand new Volvo V90 2018 in what I would term uh, dark chocolate. Really? Yeah, it's kind of a dark chocolate. Blue, it has it? blue. No, it look kind of... Everything looks blue to you. Gray. It's your color. Dark blue. Okay, so it looks black. dark blue, black, or gray. Yeah, it's dark brown, Kathy. Really? Yeah, it's dark brown. Uh, it's so chocolatey. It might have been your glasses, or maybe, you know, what you're wearing to be really blue. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to the store right now because Kathy has to make pizza. Because we're taking pizza down to Sean and Isla for dinner. So we can see the baby again. So we can see the baby. I'm sorry. She's I, I feel in one day. Right. There's still just a pipsqueak, but we still can't show her uh, according to the rules of mom, uh, Isla. And uh, rightly so, she just wants to keep the baby off the web for a short period of time. Because all the hell's gonna break loose, you know it's gonna. <laughs> and the baby's gonna be everywhere. You know, she <laughs> might end up being a movie star or something, I don't know. But in the meantime, uh, as she is still a tiny pipsqueak, we're gonna go get pizza. And this is her first pizza. That's right. <laughs>
even though she probably won't eat any of it. Oh, yes, she will. Through osmosis. Right. But it's vegan now. Vegan pizza. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> if you're thinking about leaving vegan, vegetarian cheese, and um, where are you going? Onions, bell peppers. Oh, hello, how are you? Yes, look at that face. We now have everything to make a spectacular pizza. I hope so. If we don't, I'll send you back to the store. <laughs> what? putting stuff in the car, in the back. A piece of lettuce fell out into the cart and the door was closing and Kathy took the lettuce and threw it in the back. So <laughs> it's sitting back there. I hope we remember to, uh, to grab it. Well, that's the piece that's going in your salad. If it makes it to the salad, it might stay in the car for the week. I know. You know, we could have a, a salad later on this week. You know? That's true. Yeah, delicious. When we're driving. There's your salad. <laughs> Delicious. Back in the car with the pizza master. And your lettuce leaf, because you get to have that later. Oh good, good, I'm glad you brought that. Uh, we went back to the pad and Kathy made three spectacular pizzas, I which so. I didn't vlog because I was too busy editing. I should have. I really should have because they look delicious. But uh, we did get some news just at this moment. We got a photo from the set of Ellen's new game show of your thing that you built, your first thing. What do you dress rehearsal? Uh, you're not supposed to say that. They are doing a dress rehearsal with the prop that Kathy built, the massive eight and a half foot tall prop, one of three and it looks like it's gonna be freaking spectacular. That's all I have to say about that. Anyway, now we're going to Sean and Isla's with the pizza, and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Oh. Uh, you're gonna get me back. So we came home, and in the kitchen was this little guy. It's a little hummingbird. And the reason he's like that is because he flew into a web and now his wings are kind of stuck. So I'm trying to clean the webs off of him. Better take him outside though, because if he gets free. Yeah. He's so pretty though. Look at that color. Yes, you're so cute. Look, you can see his eyeballs blinking. Can you get up really close? Yeah, he's Aww. cute. All right, I'm gonna sit down with you here. That was really cool. He just took off and right out of my hand. That was Aww. awesome.
a new car just showed up. The Volvo took off, they took it away, but they left something really cool to replace it. Can you guess what it is? Never mind, let's just go see. This is the Genesis G80. Very, very sweet. You guys are gonna like this. I think we should take it for a spin. Where's Kathy? Welcome to the Genesis G80 2018 edition. Now we've had this car twice before and it hasn't really changed all that much. That's cool. It's still super fresh, really nice. First impression, although it is technically your third impression because we've had it twice before, so in the last few years. What, uh, what stands out for you? Uh, I like this wood. Yes. Nice wood treatment. The the nice. most impressive thing with this car is the moment you get in, the uh, Apple CarPlay just kicks in, and you got music, you got your phone, you got everything. Bam! So much with the last car I had, which was the Volvo, that was a little more complex, but it was an incredible, incredibly beautiful machine. Yeah, right. That was really nice. Okay, so we're going up into town now. We got some stuff to do. So we, we ended up at Trancus uh, to get some coffee and a couple other things. The car drives really nice, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, I can't say much for your slobbering coffee. Did I slobber? And then we picked up uh, one of our favorite treats. If you have never been... This isn't my favorite. Speak so we picked yourself. up one of my favorite treats, <laughs> which is from the Karma Baker, which is here. And uh, just the greatest stuff. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, completely vegan, and it tastes like the bomb. The outside part's good, but that white stuff? Grr. You can save that for me. I'll eat that. I, I got no problem eating that whatsoever. Yeah, put it back. I'm saving it for later. I know. Boink. Karma Baker. Check her out. She's got a great place uh, out in Thousand Oaks or some, Agora, something like that. Please, Thousand Oaks. Really good. Good stuff. <laughs> Why didn't I go to the uh, Hot Wheels car show today? Because you got suddenly short. What's what's another reason? Let me push your back and <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch His it. His back went out because he was trying to help me carry a big. You almost said it. Don't say it. Uh, Kat, what, what Kathy's working on right now? Uh, it's it's wrapping up by the third, so it's almost done. But uh, Bob came over yesterday and helped us move two of these things. They were rather large and my my back just freaked out. I, had to, I can't really walk. It's kind of pathetic the way I'm moving around, kind of like a hundred year old. <laughs> right? Well, you have that. But it's happened to you, right? So you know what it's oh, like. Never. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> you guys may have experienced this, but when your back goes out, uh, you have to like crawl to the bathroom. And I gotta go to work. I don't want to hear it. I've heard it all, all right. day. Bye. Bye. No sympathy. <laughs>